Hi guys, this is Carmi from the Sunny Rock Kitchen and today we're gonna be opening durian so it's uh, one of our favorite fruits and we thought what better place to demo how to open it than at Josie's in Oregon she's, I have to say, she's the most enthusiastic durian lover that I've ever met so yeah, let's Yay. do it! So here they are! Yay! Here's Hi! Josie and Dawn uh-huh, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, Daddy. <laughs> so we got the, the durian at an Asian market. And I still don't know exactly how to best pick a durian. I just go by smell. It's kind of hard to tell because it's frozen, but... And I know it looks really scary, eh? It's all spiky. Mm -hmm. So first you make a cut. On the little humps. Right. And you open it. Yay. There you are. Look at this. Whoa. <gasps> Beautiful. Yum. Eh? Yum. Okay, and here you go. And you see you've got different pods. So you just pry them out. You're not going to take the... Um, Oh yeah, you want to show them that? Yeah. You can take a seed out. Show them take that. the seed okay. out. And there's a little seed. And you take this out. And then you eat. <laughs> and it's mm. the most custardy texture I've ever seen it's just so awesome mm. <laughs> mm. so durian is one of those things that is so good that you almost want to have it on its own otherwise the, the flavor might get lost or overwhelmed easily so one of our favorite things is just to eat it just straight out of the out of the shell um, but the other thing we like to do with it actually uh, maybe you've seen the recipe I posted last year about the durian chocolate cake that I came up with while I was staying at Josie's. So it's very good, very yummy. Chocolate and durian go so well together. And another, actually speaking of those two flavors together, another really good way to have durian that we found is to have the, the durian dehydrated. And interestingly, usually when you dehydrate something, the flavor gets stronger, but it's not the case with durian. It makes it milder and the texture is just very interesting and and then you enjoy that dipped in a chocolate mousse avocado mousse and it's so good so to dehydrate it's so easy so you see here that's all the uh, durian that we took out of the uh, shell and then we took the the little seed off and now i'm just going to take the pulp and spread it on the teflex sheet and that's that but look at that, you know, isn't that texture just amazing? Or well, something else I do with durian that's really yummy is uh, mixing durian flesh. Whoops, we forgot a little seed. Durian flesh with coconut meat, young coconut meat, and blend that up with a bit of sweetener and a little vanilla. And that's really good too. You can make a pudding or you can make it as a smoothie if you add a bit of liquid. The one first thing that hits you, or what you always hear about, is how durian has a very peculiar smell. But actually, you know, it doesn't taste like it smells, thankfully. And when you start liking durian, you realize, well, the smell actually is nice. So, and for us, yeah, we didn't like it, you know, it was okay at first. But then we realized it was kind of growing on, on us, you know, we kind of craved the flavor. So we were looking forward to getting to cities where there would be um, an Asian market where we could find durian. So spread fairly thin and you'll see it's all going to stick together, but then you'll just break it up in little pieces. There we go, and you know what's the best part about this? 
Then you get to lick your fingers. Mmm. Yummy. All right, now we'll just see if um, Josie's cat Punkster is gonna like durian. I know that puss goes crazy over it. Ooh, he's mighty curious. There he goes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Punkster, we're gonna have to fight for durian now? <laughs> there, I, I've heard that apparently all animals in the wild love durian and that's why they got spikes, otherwise there'd be no there, fruit. <laughs> there, there would be no fruit and no, oh my god. <gasps> there it goes. I don't believe this. A little durian feast. Alright, so here we are now in our van, our home, and I thought I would introduce you to our dear little puss. Whoa, I just woke her up. So you saw me open a, or Dawn rather, open a durian earlier. And I just thought I'd bring her a little bit because she loves durian. It's a special treat. All right, here we go. Ooh, what's that with the cat? Is that durian? Is that durian? Oh, yeah. Now you gotta understand she hardly eats anything else than her cat food and her egg yolk every day. She's really picky, but man does she ever love durian. <laughs> 